England World Cup hero Jeff Hurst fitted with pacemaker after emergency surgery. England's 1966 World Cup hero Sir Jeff Hurst had to be fitted with a pacemaker during emergency surgery last month following a checkup with a specialist. The 79-year-old former West Ham striker was diagnosed with atrial fibrillation before the operation, a condition that causes an irregular and either slow or fast heartbeat. While the condition is not life-threatening, a pacemaker can be fitted to send an electrical charge to ensure the heart beats at the right pace in future. Sir Jeff, who remains the only male player to score a hat-trick in a World Cup final, has now shared details of the procedure and mentioned the tragic passing of some of his former England teammates. Speaking to the Sun, Hurst said, Life is a lottery. Look at my colleagues from the World Cup team. Sadly, some of them have had one issue or another and have passed away during this awful time. I have just had a pacemaker fitted. I had a mild stroke a couple of years ago and had tests after that. I was diagnosed with atrial fibrillation, an irregular heartbeat, which is not life-threatening. Is Sir Jeff the greatest England striker in history? Tell us in the comments section as well as Hurst, Sir Bobby Charlton, 84, and George Cohen, 82, are the only surviving members of the 1966 World Cup winning side. The recent deaths of 1966 teammates Jimmy Greaves and Roger Hunt have left Hurst taking stock of life, and he has also written a book alongside sports writer Norman Giller, ahead of his December birthday. 80 at 80 is Jeff's look at 80 sportsmen who have inspired and motivated him ahead of his 80th birthday, including the likes of Muhammad Ali and Zinedine Zidane. Jeff has said of the book. This is the first time I've ever uttered these words, I'm 80 this December, and I can't believe it. To celebrate I've compiled a list of the 80 sportsmen who have motivated me most during my sporting life and turned it into a cracking book called Sir Jeff Hurst. 80 at 80. If you didn't know, I'm still the only player ever to score a hat trick in a World Cup final and I want to share my own personal memories with all the